coolest campaign office. Yeah! And, and I, I feel somewhat attached to this because we were doing a merchant walk like a couple of weeks ago or so, and we were coming by here, and we were all mesmerized by this vacant spot. So I am extraordinarily happy that Mark and Sonny and the campaign have been able to procure this site. I think that this site sort of smells like victory. Yeah. It has all the right elements, and that's why we're here tonight, so that we can uh, really help launch and celebrate from this great structure uh, the successful campaign of our dear friend, President of the School Board, Mark Sanchez. Yeah. There is, um, there is great need to campaign very aggressively and very hard because the future of San Francisco depends on our effort and our vigor. Mark Sanchez deserves it. This district deserves it. There's great change in the tide of the Board of Supervisors that will now sort of uh, move off because a number of my colleagues have turned out. And the question of uncertainty is who's going to replace him. The future of San Francisco is predicated on a night like tonight so that we can deliver that kind of response by making sure somebody like Mark is the one who wins. And this isn't going to be easy. And this is why myself and Assemblymember Leno and others have attached ourselves to Mark Sanchez because it's not really about Mark. It's about the fact that we have this feeling in our stomach, in our gut, in our heart, that we have to work extremely hard in order to extend that agenda, extend that vision, and deliver the goods. This isn't about politics. This isn't really about any kind of party affiliation. This isn't about like who's friends with whom and who's not. What this is about is the honest the honest dissection as to how are we best going to continue the great work that Mark Sanchez and others on the school board has exemplified and continue to match up that work with others on the board and supervisors from a progressive standpoint who wants to continue to make sure that we make the impact that we would like. And that's why we're here. We're here to make sure he wins. He is immensely sweet. And this is... <laughs> by the fact that when I see somebody is principled, somebody who's been able to really demonstrate and exemplify that they can get the job done. And let me tell you, that was real battle tested after the period, during and after the period of when Superintendent Arlene Ackerman was there. And then Mark was able to, Mark was able to, with such great finesse and great savvy, to keep the school board moving forward, calm things down, and return a level of stability and respect that, that I believe really, really was not well recognized. And for a new supervisor, when I came in to see the distress caused by what I thought were just some very unjust school closures and threats to schools, especially to disadvantaged communities, I turned to my friend, Mark Sanchez, to ask him, what do we do to work together? And I was so impressed by his response, and I was so lifted by the fact that this wasn't just something that you do cavalierly. It's not something that we do gratuitously. It's something that we do together. School board, member of the Board of Supervisors, we walk together and we plot the way as to what kind of city we want for everybody. And that's why we're here tonight. And his sweetness is the one that really is worth grabbing the most. Because, and I hear this out there about, man, this guy's relaxed. I'm not sure. You know, he's really relaxed. What are we going to do? Well, you know, do not be fooled by that sort of laid back state. Do not be fooled by it. But it's one that we use to our advantage and one that we want to make sure that that is a level of civility. And that is a level of, I think, heartfelt touch that right now in our local government, we can use. And I know, and I know, 
just at the same time, it's that level of sort of pragmatic line in the sand, you know, where the beachhead becomes that much more important to Mark Sanchez when the issues are drawn and the stakes are high, where he knows not to cede any ground. And that is why I'm here tonight. It's not because I'm a really big fan of Mark Sanchez, forget that. It's really, it's really because I have watched this man's career over some years and was elected member of the school board. I knew of his work as an activist. I know what he's been able to contribute, and I understand that he's in a field of strong contenders, but this is the contender that's going to win, and that's why we're yeah. here. So, I just want to say that uh, it's going to take, obviously, uh, more than us just partying here tonight and celebrating, I think, the pathway uh, to a new era of seeing Supervisor Sanchez elected. It's going to take a lot of work. And so those of you who have not made a donation or feel that they can make an extra donation, I want you to, please. Um, I'm not going to ask you to donate to my campaign. I want you to donate to his campaign. And I know you're all thinking to yourself when I walked in the room, oh, God, there's Mercury. I didn't donate to his campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so you better donate to Sanchez with that thought in mind in that regard. And in life, in addition to that, um, this is about grassroots muscle. We know grassroots. This is where we come from, right? So it's not about you know the well-funded. It's not about you know just making sure that we win by dollars alone. That's part of it, and that's obligatory. But it's about grassroots. It's about putting that face on this kind of effort. It's the precinct walking. It's the phone banging. You must volunteer. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for making the donation you can, and let's win. Thank you. Yeah.